Chapter 1 Living and Non-Living Things Living Things We see and feel many things around us. Humans, animals, plants, stones, water, air. This is our environment. Things that breathe, feel and move on their own are called living things. Living things grow. Living things need food and water to live. Living things move from one place to another on their own. Living things feel. Living things give birth to their young ones. Scientific fact. Not all living things give birth to babies. Some lay eggs like hen and not all living things eat food like flowers. Scientific fact. Plants do not move from one place to another, but they move their body parts. Non-living things. Things which do not breathe, feel or move on their own are called non-living things. Non-living things do not grow. Non-living things do not need food and water. Non-living things cannot move on their own. Non-living things do not feel. Non-living things do not give birth to their young ones. Non-living things are of two types, man-made and natural. Man-made things Non-living things made by man are called man-made things like house, car, clothes, pen and paper are made by man. They are not found in nature, they are man-made things. Scientific Fact All man-made things are wisdom of human beings like house, car, clothes, pen, paper. Natural things. Natural things are found in nature and are not man-made. Examples, mountains, rocks, river, sun, moon, etc. Rocks, river, sun, moon. Chapter 2 Our Neighborhood The area around our house is called our neighborhood. There are many places like market, shops, park, school, hospital, police station temple, etc. in our neighborhood. People living near each other in a neighborhood are called neighbors. Scientific Fact We should always have the contact number of our neighbors in case of any emergency. Park. We go to play in the park. People also come there to relax. Parks have swings, trees and benches to sit. School. We go to school to study. Hospitals. We have a hospital near our houses. We go there when we are sick. Doctors in the hospital treat us. Market We buy the things of our daily use from market. We buy things from the shops in the market.
and buy eatables, clothes, medicines, etc. from the market. Police Station We have a police station near our house. We can register any complaint there regarding theft, killings, etc. Police maintains law and order. We feel safe with police station near our house. Chapter 3 Clothes and Shelter We all need air, water, food, clothes and shelter to live. These are our basic needs. Needs for clothes We wear clothes to cover ourselves. They protect us from heat, cold and rain. We wear different clothes at different times of the year. We wear clothes according to the season. Summer season We wear cotton clothes in summer season. They are light in color. They absorb sweat and keep our body cool. Winter season we wear woolen clothes in winter season. They are made up of wool. They keep us warm. Rainy season. We use raincoats and umbrellas in rainy season. They protect us from rain. They are made up of waterproof material. Clothes are made of different materials. Cotton clothes are made of cotton. We get cotton from cotton plant. Cotton plant, cotton thread, cotton clothes. Woolen clothes are made of wool. We get wool from sheep. Sheep, wool, woolen clothes. We should wear clean and well ironed clothes. Need for a house. We need a house to live in. It protects us from heat, rain, storms, cold, wild animals, thieves, insects, etc. It gives us shelter. We feel safe in our house. Types of houses. There are two types of houses. Kacha houses. Kacha houses are made of mud, wood, bamboo, clay and straw. They are temporary. They can be broken down and rebuilt easily. They are also called huts. Pakka houses Houses made of bricks, cement, steel, iron, concrete, mixture of cement, sand, small stones and water and wood are called pakka houses. They are stronger than kacha houses. Most people in cities and towns live in pakka houses. Rooms in a houses. A house keeps us comfortable. There are many rooms in a house. Each room has its own use. We rest and sleep in the bedroom. We welcome our guests and look after them in the drawing room. We cook food in the kitchen. We go to toilet in the washroom. 
we brush our teeth and take a bath in the bathroom we eat our meals in the dining room we study in the study room we store things in the store room we pray to god in the prayer room the house in which we live with our family is our house we must keep our house clean if we love and respect our family members our house will always be filled with happiness scientific fact early man did not know how to build house he lived in caves and on trees chapter 4 plants around us we see different types of plants around us all plants do not have the same size and shape Some plants are tall and strong, some are short, while some are weak. Types of plants. There are different kinds of plants. Trees. Trees are very big plants. They have a thick woody stem called trunk. Like peepal tree, mango tree, neem tree, banyan tree. shrubs shrubs are small plants they are not as big as trees but their stems are hard like rose cotton lemon henna or mehndi herbs herbs are very small plants they have soft green stems like spinach grass mint coriander climbers climbers are weak plants they have weak stem they need support to grow they climb on neighboring plants and trees like grapevine pea plant money plant common ivy creepers creepers are too weak to stand they creep on the ground like watermelon muskmelon pumpkin gourd parts of a plant there are different parts of a plant flower produces fruit leaves make food for plant bud opens and becomes a flower roots take in water from soil fruits bear seeds stem bears leaves and flowers it supplies water and food from one part to another germination of seed seeds germinate in soil seeds need water air and sunlight to germinate baby plant grows out of the seed and after some time it develops into a big plant this is called germination of seed things to keep in mind we should plant more trees we should water the plants regularly we should not pluck flowers we should take care of plants we should not litter the parks scientific fact plants need air water and sunlight to grow plants and trees clean the air we breathe and keep it fresh and healthy for us chapter 5 plants give us food
we get food from different parts of plants plants give us fruits vegetables cereals and pulses we also get tea coffee spices sugar and oil from them types of foods we get different types of foods from plants grain and cereals grains and cereals are mostly used in powdered form or as flour like maize rice oats wheat barley pulses pulses are rich in protein and are often served with rice like red lentil kidney beans chickpea moong soya bean scientific fact there is no life without plants edible oil we get edible oil from plants of mustard groundnut sunflower and coconut spices spices are used to make food tasty and more healthy they give flavor to our food like turmeric cloves chili cumin seeds coriander fruits fruits provide many nutrients to our body some fruits are eaten as a whole while some fruits are squeezed to get their juices apple mango banana orange grapes scientific fact fruits are produced from flowers we eat brinjal and tomato as vegetables but they are actually fruit of a plant dry fruits dry fruits have an edible seed with a hard and dry covering like walnut almond cashew nuts coconut scientific fact dry fruits are also called nuts vegetables vegetables provide us protein and nutrients they are they are mostly served after cooked well like cauliflower spinach onion potato cucumber coffee tea and sugar we get coffee from coffee beans and tea from tea leaves we get sugar from sugar cane scientific fact we do not get salt from plants it is obtained from sea water chapter 6 the animal world we see many kinds of animals around us they are of different shapes and sizes different animals live in different places eat different foods and move differently different types of animals there are different types of animals pet animals pet animals are those that we can keep in our house we care for them like parrot dog cat farm animals farm animals live near our houses in sheds or in farms they can be of some use to us horse lives in a stable cow lives in a shed hen lives in a coop wild animals wild animals live in forests like lion deer bear tiger scientific fact
marine animals marine animals live in water only like dolphin whale octopus starfish amphibians amphibians live both on land and in water like duck tortoise crocodile frog arboreal animals arboreal animals live on trees but are not birds like koala chameleon squirrel monkey birds birds are flying animals they have wings to fly their body is covered with feathers they have two legs to walk they perch on trees they have beaks to eat grains like woodpecker parrot peacock sparrow different types of birds birds that cannot fly some birds cannot fly like others they can only walk or run like penguin ostrich kiwi water birds birds that live in water are called water birds swan crane goose insects insects are very small in size they have six legs most insects can fly with the help of their wings like ant bee ladybug chapter 7 food and homes of animals like all living things animals also need food to live and grow also animals need shelter to live safely and to protect themselves from dangers food of animals different animals eat different types of foods plant eating animals plant eating animals eat grass plants tree leaves and fodder like horse sheep cow goat grain eating animals grain eating animals eat cereals grains and seeds like hen squirrel pigeon sparrow insect eating animals insect eating animals eat insects and worms like chameleon frog lizard bat flesh eating animals flesh eating animals eat flesh meat and bones of other animals like lion hawk leopard vulture plants and flesh eating animals some animals eat both plants and flesh of other animals like bear crow dog monkey homes where animals live just as we need a home to live in so do animals they need a home to protect themselves and their young ones from rain heat cold and enemies nests birds make nests to live in nests are built on trees they are made of straw twigs leaves cotton etc like sparrow weaver bird woodpecker tailor bird rabbit lives in burrow mouse lives in hole ants live in ant hills honey bees live in hives spider lives in cobwebs lion lives in den dog lives in a kennel monkey lives in trees 
water some animals live in water like duck swan crocodile whale how to take care of animals we should not tease animals we should not hurt them we should take care of them we should place a bowl of grains and a bowl of water for birds on our terrace we should give leftover food to the street animals cuckoo coil is the only bird that does not make its own nest it lays eggs in the nest of other birds chapter 8 human body human body is made up of many parts each part of our body has a different name and function our body parts help us our body has many parts head eyes ears lips hands legs etc are different parts of our body parts of our body perform different functions such as eating writing cutting playing walking running carrying etc I can see the things around me with my eyes. I can hear different sounds with my ears. I have two arms. Each arm has a hand with five fingers. I have nails on my fingers. I cut my nails with a nail cutter. I also keep them clean. write cutting nails eat and draw scientific fact our arms and legs are together called our limbs i have one mouth i can talk and eat with my mouth i have teeth inside my mouth i bite my food with them i also have a tongue i have two lips on my mouth i have one nose i can breathe and smell with my nose i also have two cheeks one chin and one forehead there is hair on top of my head i have two legs each leg has a thigh knee lower leg and foot each foot has five toes with toe nails i cut my toe nails too and keep them clean walk jump stand run sense organs we all have five sense organs sense organs help us to feel the world around us the five senses are sight smell hearing taste and touch the skin is the largest sense organ of our body eyes nose ears tongue and skin are five sense organs eye to sorry eyes to see nose to smell ears to hear tongue to taste skin to feel 
An infant blinks his eyes once or twice in a minute while adults blink around 10 times a minute. Chapter 9 Basic Needs We all need food, clothes and a house. We need food. We need food to make our body work. Food gives us energy and helps us to grow. Food protects our body from diseases. We should eat all kinds of food to be healthy. We should take healthy diet. We need a house. We need a house to live in. It protects us from heat, rain, storm, cold, wild animals, thieves, insects, etc. House gives us shelter. We feel safe in our house. We need clothes. We wear clothes to cover our body. They protect us from heat, cold, rain, insect bites, etc. Clothes made us look smart. We wear cotton clothes in summer season. We wear woolen clothes in winter season. We use raincoats and umbrellas in rainy season. Other Necessities Clean water. We need clean and safe water to drink. If we drink water which is dirty, we fall ill. We must drink plenty of water. Fresh air. We need fresh air to breathe in. There should be no dust or smoke in the air. Trees help to keep the air clean. Chapter 10 Keeping Healthy Our body does a lot of work for us. We must take care of it to remain fit and healthy. We must eat healthy food, keep ourselves clean, take rest, exercise and play. Exercise and play We should exercise daily. It keeps our body fit and strong. Exercise makes us feel hungry. It helps us to eat well. Exercise makes us feel tired too. It helps us to sleep well. Playing games is a good exercise. We must go out and play daily. We enjoy while we play with other children. Playing and running around keep us fit. We should not play soon after eating. Rest and sleep. When we work or play, we get tired. Our body needs rest after that. Sleep gives rest to our body. We need 8 hours of sleep every night. Never cover face while sleeping. Always breathe through the nose and not through the mouth. Always brush teeth before sleeping. We should always wear clean night clothes. We should get up early and go to bed early. Recreation We feel tired after studying. We need some recreation. We feel fresh after recreation. Listen to music, playing, watch television, drawing and coloring. Correct posture. Posture is the way we hold our body. It is the way we sit, stand and walk. We must always walk upright. 
we should always sit and stand straight we must remember to sit straight while writing reading books and walking on the computer walk upright stand straight sit straight good postures keep our body fit they also make us look smart chapter 11 being safe safety means to be safe and protected from any harm we can avoid accidents and be safe by following certain rules there are different safety rules that we must follow in different places safety at home do not play with blades scissors or any other sharp object do not play in the kitchen or near fire do not touch electrical object do not climb on stools chairs or shelves do not leave your toys anywhere do not lean out of a high window or balcony safety in school never run in school corridors wait in a queue to get in a school bus do not push each other while using stairs in case of injury inform your teacher always obey your parents and teachers do not play in the class with pen pencil or anything else it may cause harm do not do not pass any object in the classroom by throwing it from here and there safety on the road do not run on the road always walk on the footpath do not run after cars or any other vehicle do not race while cycling on the road look to your right then to your left then right again while crossing the road always use zebra crossing to cross the road traffic lights should always be followed they are red green and yellow in color safety on playground play inside the playground and not on the road do not play near pool or tank play only friendly games always play games of your age do not play if the playground is wet apart from that there are a lots of other safety habits that one should follow if we do not follow safety rules we may harm ourselves or someone else the immediate help given to an injured person before the arrival of the doctor is called first aid always have a first aid box at home if a person gets faint he should be settled down properly then should be given a glass of water do not get panic if you see blood in case of insect bite wash the wound with the soap in case of fire cover that person with a thick blanket first aid kit a small box that contains items of first aid is called a first aid kit a first aid kit should have gauze dressings bandage antiseptic cream detol cotton scissors doctor tape thermometer etc safety habits 
make us more responsible and help us grow into a good person so we should always follow safety habits chapter 12 the earth we live on the earth our earth is the third planet of the solar system it is the only planet with life on it the surface of the earth is made up of land and water the earth is round like a ball it is a beautiful planet the earth is blue and green in color because of presence of water and land respectively a planet a planet is a heavenly body in space that moves around the sun the solar system the solar system consists of all the planets the sun the moon and the stars around land forms on the earth at many areas the land has risen very high to form mountains these are very cold areas with frequent snowfall the snow melts and water falls from the high mountains as a waterfall the rivers flow through the hills hills are shorter than the mountains moving further down the hills the land becomes flat these flat areas are called plains flowing through the plains repeat flowing through the plains the water falls into the sea and the sea merges with ocean there are some areas where there is no water and only sand these areas are called the deserts so as we studied we see that there are different forms of land and water available on earth only there are eight planets in our solar system all the planets revolve around the sun chapter 13 air and water air is all around us we cannot see it it is necessary for all living things we can only feel it the earth is surrounded by a layer of air called the atmosphere air is important for life all living things need air to breathe they cannot live without air we should breathe clean and fresh air kinds of air gently moving air is called breeze fast moving air is called wind wind with lightning and thunder is called storm properties of air air occupies space air has weight use of air air helps to dry the wet clothes air helps you to feel cool under the fan air helps candle to lit air helps all living things to breathe air helps birds to fly air gives shape to things air helps a boat to move in the water a hot air balloon goes up in the sky because of air water human being animals birds insects and plants all need water water helps to keep themselves and our surroundings clean Water is used in many ways drinking bathing washing swimming
cleaning, watering plants, cooking, brushing, sailing, putting out fire, producing electricity. There is very limited drinking water on the earth. Sources of water We get water from various sources. Rain is the main source of water. Rainwater fills river, lakes, ponds, seas, etc. Some rainwater seeps in the ground and gets stored as underground water. Chapter 14 Weather and Seasons Weather When you go out, you find that some days are sunny and hot, some other days are cold, sometimes it is very cloudy. The condition of a day at a given time is called weather. Sunny day, cold day, cloudy day. Weather changes from day to day and time to time. Sunny day. The sun shines brightly on a sunny day. We feel warm and sweat a lot. To keep cool, we should wear cotton cloth, a hot air called loo blows on hot days. Cold day. Some days are very cold. There is no on windy days. Cloudy day. Sometimes there are clouds in the sky. Black clouds hide the sun on these days. Cloudy days are cooler than sunny days. Rainy day. It rains on a rainy day. Clouds cover summer season. Summer season is from March to June. We feel hot in this season. We do not like to go out in the sun. We wear cotton clothes in summer season. They keep us cool. Rainy season. Rainy season is from July to October. It feels pleasant in this season. The sky is covered with dark clouds. There is lighting and thunder. It is the wettest time of the year. Winter season. Winter season is from November to February. We feel cold in this season. The days are short and Nights are long. The sun shines for a short time. People wear woolen clothes to keep themselves warm. There are also two short seasons, autumn and spring. Chapter 15 In the Sky What do you see up in the sky? During daytime, we see the sun and clouds in the sky. At night, we see moon and stars in the sky. The motion of the earth around the sun causes formation of day and night. The sun The sun is round, bright and hot. It is like a big ball of fire. It gives heat and light. The sun appears to rise in the east and sets in the west. The energy of the sun is called the solar energy. The moon. The moon is smaller than the sun. It is also round. We see different shapes of moon every night. The stars. We see the stars too at night. There are millions of stars in the sky. They twinkle at night. They look very small as they are very far from us. Stars also give us light. Trip to the moon. The moon is very far from us. The huge sky where we can see the sun the moon and the stars is known as space. 
people have to travel in special vehicle called a rocket to go to the moon and into the space. The first man to land on the moon was Neil Armstrong. Sun is actually a star that is made up of many hot gases. The moon gets its light from the sun. Chapter 16 Our Environment Everything around us forms our environment. The environment consists of plants, animals, human beings, air, water and soil. We need all these components to survive on earth. We need fresh air to breathe. Sometimes this air becomes dirty due to smoke from vehicles, factories, burning of leaves, etc. We need pure and clean water to drink to be healthy. Water becomes dirty due to many human activities. It is our duty to protect the environment. Do not throw plastic bottles into water bodies. Keep your surroundings clean. Do not waste paper. Plant trees as they make air clean and fresh. Do not use plastic bags. Use jute or paper bags to carry things. Throw waste in dust bins. A plastic bag takes 500 years to root or destroy, whereas a paper bag roots very fast. <laughs>